It's great to see you all again. It's been an interesting couple weeks for me, but we're here for another dip review. My friend Cody, who also sent me the Derringer that I did in the last video, he sent me something that I didn't even really know existed. I thought it only came in fine cut, and it turns out I was wrong. Uh, we're going to be dipping long cut, long horn, long horn, long cut natural. Rather. Thought it only came in fine cut. And if you know me, you know that I fucking ate Longhorn. <laughs> hey, quiet, I'm on the telephone. Oh, thank you, Mr. Mailman. Fuck you, asshole. It's the same thing my doctor said. In case you don't know, Longhorn is one of my least favorite dip brands. I hate it, because all of them suck. None of them are good. Longhorn Straight was my first dip ever. And that, I think, is still to this day why I don't like straight dips. Horrible first choice on my part. But you can't turn back time. <laughs> I think... And I could be wrong. This is my first video I've made with the new Longhorn design. As you can tell, they've changed it a bit. And uh, honestly, it, I think it looks a bit better. These cans actually look pretty good. Has the uh, silver plastic lid. And overall, yeah, it, it looks pretty cool, I will admit. As you can tell, it's not cracked. A couple people bitched me out in my last video because I didn't crack the Derringer. It wasn't my fault. I recorded the review. No audio. Had to re-record it. Not my fault. So don't blame me! And I'll make it clear I'm on the telephone. So let's crack right into it and see what this is all about. As my good Canadian friends say. There's a sound that you all love. I like it too. It's very comforting. Let's open this bitch up. Okay, so it's pretty dark. That's actually extremely dark. Way darker than I thought it'd be. Like, this is almost as dark as they come. The smell... Um, it's pretty good! Not bad. It smells better than the fine cut. It just really smells like a more artificial cope snuff, in a way. Which I didn't really expect. It doesn't smell too bad. It's a little bit artificial, but not terribly. I guess it's kind of like grizzly snuff. It smells pretty good. A little bit artificial, but not too bad. So we're gonna pack a lip. Pack a lip with me. Uh, hopefully you're packing something good. And if you're not packing anything, that's okay. I love my non-dipping viewers just as much. Didn't make a difference at all. I still can't believe how dark this is. I've had this sitting around for a couple weeks. Oh, of course, the pinchability fucking sucks. Look at how small that is for me. Look at how small that is. Unbelievable. Might have to pack a filler. You don't see me do that much. Cheers. <laughs> Fell apart! Fucking great! <laughs> so, the fine cut to me is fucking disgusting. This isn't too bad, really. It's okay. If you hadn't noticed, if you've been a viewer forever, look what I found. I found the t-shirt that I wore in my first intro ever in 2011. And uh, I posted a picture of it on my social media. Add me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all that shit. And uh, two people, Chaboy Roy and Cameron Dirk, told me to wear it in this video. And now that I've lost 60 some odd pounds, it fits again. Would have been tight as Fuck two years ago. Rambling a lot in this video. I apologize. I'm in a good mood. I'm a little bit hyper. If you have a problem with that, suck a dick! <laughs> Onto the flavor. Not bad. Way better than the fine cut. I fucking hated the fine cut. I thought it was disgusting. This really resembles grizzly snuff. It tastes like kind of pure tobacco. It has a little bit of an artificial undertone. You'll get that with all cheap dips. Nearly all of them. Um, but it tastes pretty pure which I'm very pleasantly surprised by. Comparison, Grizzly Snuff, really. It's very similar to that, in my opinion. The cut's really your typical cheap dip cut. Nothing to write home about. It's not super, it's just kind of randomly cut. And uh, it doesn't pinch together very well. It stays, God damn it, I dropped my fucking tin. Okay, now that I said it packs all right, it's starting to drift, of course. <sighs> but it's okay. It does like to drift, you, you get a lot of floaters. It really drifts in the back. Texture's quite soft. It's not very rough at all, and uh, it doesn't burn. Nicotine with any cheap dip is gonna be basically nothing. Um, before I'd ever dipped before Longhorn Straight, I tried it with my friend Brendan, and you know, of course, back then I, <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. I took a pinch like, fuck like that. And I didn't buzz then, having no nicotine tolerance whatsoever, so pretty low. The spit. Very surprised. As you can tell, it's extremely dark, which I'm shocked by. And uh, 
I'm going to honestly say that this is the most spit I've gotten ever from a cheap dip. I don't know. Longhorn did okay with this one. Like, I'm not, I hate to say that I kind of like a Longhorn dip, but I kind of like it. Don't yell at me. So the spit's pretty good. And uh, last ability, I'm going to assume that it's okay. Uh, the only thing that might be a problem there is it's drifting a little bit. But in terms of spit and darkness and juice, it's pretty good. The aftertaste. As I always say, dips that have an artificial undertone, they always leave that artificialness when you take it out. It never leaves that pleasant taste in it. It always leaves a little bit of an artificial taste, but I have my coffee right here, so it's all good. What I do with my coffee is once it goes cold, instead of heating it back up again, I just throw ice cubes in it and make it into iced coffee. Now it's time for shout outs. I love YouTube's new pin comment feature. I can pin a comment in the comments and no matter what, whether you're on mobile or desktop, my comment's always at the top because it's perfect for shout outs. What I do now, so you know, is I always have 15 spots for shout outs in each video. So I'll post a comment right when I post the video saying, if you want a shout out, let me know. First 15, first come, first serve. And then I'll delete, the, I'll write the names down, delete that, and then say, hey, the list is full this video. I'll leave one on my next video. If I've already given you a shout out, please don't ask again. Give other people a shot. For this video, we got Pack and Dip, Smash and Fish, Trainer Red, Suicide Memes, Hunter Duesenberry, Duesenberry, covers something like that. I'm terrible with that. For someone who speaks pretty well, I'm terrible with that. Uh, Mason Yo Face, Dipski and the Lipski, Copenhagen Bros 21, Kill Switch 777, Connor B, PA Dipper 69, Zach Attack, Berg's Dip Reviews, Zash Alamel 91, and Zion Bradbury. Check them all out or I'll kick your Number of subs, we're almost at 62,000. Thank you so much. I love you all so much. Trust me. Keep dipping and spitting, keep cracking and packing. And now it's time for the rating of Longhorn Long Cut Natural. Hate to say it, Longhorn's finally made a decent dip. I hate all of them, I've tried all of them. But this one's actually okay. It reminds me of Grizzly Snuff, which if you know, I don't mind Grizzly Snuff. It's probably my favorite Grizzly, it's pretty good. And this is very much along the lines of it. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. I can't believe it. A Longhorn gets an 8 out of 10 from the Joey Lit. But it's okay. If you can find it, give it a try. I don't think it's too bad. And would I dip it again? I mean, I'm probably not going to buy it myself. But, yeah, if it was around, I would. Anyways, that's been the video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Keep dipping and spitting. Keep cracking and packing. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.